Good morning. This video is designed to help people with the 2010 to 2015 Chevy Equinox uh, with a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine. As many of you already know, uh, there's a problem with the PCV system getting clogged, causing excessive pressure within the engine and um, causing a rear main seal failure uh, where you lose all your oil out of your engine and things get very expensive. What I'm going to try to do in this in this video is to show you uh, a physical change that I'm making to the vehicle uh, that will correct the problem on a permanent basis rather than having to dis, dis, um, to remove the uh, intake manifold uh, periodically to clean out the PCV hole which is so minuscule it's ridiculous. I'll show you that in a, in a few minutes. Um, so uh, just bear with me and uh, we'll take you through this teardown. Okay, we're starting to get there. A couple of things I want to point out here. This goes to your coolant line. So when you pull this hose off, it's going to start leaking some coolant. So have a little cap ready to pop that off. This is the return PCV hose uh, that goes up into the air box. This item here is the secondary fuel pump. Runs off the cam and provides extra pressure for the direct injection system. This is kind of a pain in the ass to get off. Uh, there's no other way to say this. Two bolts here take that off, but then at the same time you have to remove this bracket, which is a real pain in the neck. There's one there's one up top, which is no big deal to get off, but there's two on the side here that are, that are just almost impossible to get. They're all 10 millimeter. Uh, I had to take the bottom one off with an open end. Top one came off with a ratchet, so we just got to be uh, pretty diligent. And the other thing is these these clips for these for these electrical connections, they're a real pain in the ass for some reason. But you got to be careful because if you don't do it right, you're going to break the clip, and then you're really in a world of hurt. So just take your time. If it's not coming off, I mean, just stop what you're doing and, and try it again. Um, this one in particular is a is a real bear. I haven't been able to get this off at all. So I'm going to try and work around it so I don't have to worry about it. I pulled the clip back. You can see this little red thing here. But uh, it's stuck on there. I don't know why. Anyway, okay. See you in a bit. Okay. I want you to take a look at this. I know you can't really see it that well, but there's a lot of gunk inside this here intake manifold. Which means that uh, it was getting some pressure pushed out. Now this little tiny thing here, that's the PCV hole. How that is supposed to take care of your PCV system, I have no idea. It doesn't look that bad from here, but it could be uh, could be clogged up inside. I was getting a lot of pressure out of the engine. Uh, but we are going to replace this with another manifold uh, that's modified so that the new PCV system can work right. Hold on. All right, here's another tip for you. When you modify the intake manifold to include another vacuum port, start with a very small drill bit and work your way up. If you start out with the tap for the 3 8 NPT, this is what happens. It's so brittle and so thin that it just took the whole, whole thing out. But starting with a smaller hole and working my way up, I was able to uh, make it work. Okay, so take your time when you're doing this. Okay, now the manifold is modified. It's a real pain in the balls. I'm sorry. It's a real pain in the neck to get this thing manhandled in there. So what I would suggest is you get it into this point and then once you have it here pull back on the manifold and apply dielectric grease to the seals. Uh, you'll also notice that the gasket surface is cleaned. Okay, We did that with some Scotch-Brite. Didn't take much effort at all uh, with aluminum it never usually does. 
Okay, so just take your time when you're doing this stuff, okay? If you take your time and you have all your tools in front of you and there's no big deal, then uh, you won't have any problem um, uh, switching out the manifolds and modifying um, with the new fill, the new uh, fitting to uh, accommodate the new PCV. And that's the PCV hole right there. It doesn't look that bad. And then the manifold didn't look that bad either. But for some reason, we weren't getting any uh, any PCV action at all. Uh, it was just a lot of pressure coming out of the oil cap. Uh, all right, so standby. Phase four coming up. Okay, now we're all back together. Everything's tight. Okay, the uh, PCV line is attached into the manifold, and we modified an oil cap and installed a PCV valve on the top of it, so it wasn't any additional machine work to the valve cover. Now we're going to start it up and see what uh, how we do. Okay. Here we are, finished product. Everything's back together. Everything's nice and dry. No vacuum leaks. Engine runs smooth. And more importantly, the CV is active. Hope this helps.